it's me be back again from really be um, I'm here today you guys with a makeup tutorial um, I will be just showing you guys what I like to do what kind of makeup interests me and I'm um, try to use mostly all non cruelty makeup um, got brands like wet n wild elf um, NYX those are the main products that I'll be using today so I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit of what I enjoy doing so stay tuned and thanks for watching first we're going to start off with priming the face um, I'll be using a Too Faced Prime and Poreless um, just take a little bit of this and go ahead and put it all over the face Mm. Let's just get your pores all nice and minimized for the makeup application gets everything started. Okay. Always bring a little bit down on your neck as well, just so you can blend everything in. Um and then I'm going to go with my Black Radiance, you can't really see it, but it is uh, Complexion Perfection in Mocha 8914, so that is the foundation that I'll be using today. And I'm going to be using this lovely Beauty Blender. I know all you ladies makeup gurus out here know all about the Beauty Blender and how well it applies makeup so I do have it it is dampened and I'm going to begin applying this all over my face Black Radiance um, press powder gives you a matte finish. So I'm gonna go over top of this with Black Radiance. And I'm just using a brush from e.l.f. It's a stippling brush. Uh, and stippling brushes just kind of give you that nice balance. favorite feature to enhance on any person. Eyes are, you know, the windows of the soul, so that's my favorite feature to play up on any person makeup that I do, and especially myself. Um, so we're gonna prime our eyes with, uh, what's this? We have e.l.f. Um, primer. Yeah, it's an eye primer and a lip, or excuse me, a liner sealer but we're gonna be using the primer part of it. Yeah. I'm gonna put this on the lid just to just cover all over the lid so we have a nice base to start our eyeshadow. Put that on and then use our finger to blend it all the way through the lid. And always use your pinky or your ring finger because that is a finger with the, you don't use those as much. So it applies less pressure to your eyelids. Um, since that's a very delicate piece of skin that you're working on. You don't wanna be too rough with it. And bring on any premature wrinkles. We 
are going to start off with our crease. Grab here a crease brush. Um, this is from Eco Tools. It's our crease brush here. It has a nice like angled um, tip on it, so it fits right into the crease area. And I have uh, Elf. See, it's the beta, but it's elf and it's really tiny. So, the color is called butternut, it's a, a quad. Well, now it's a trio because clearly one of them is broke and missing. So, <laughs> we're gonna be using um, the well, we're gonna put down this kind of peach color first, and then we're gonna put in the darker to deepen it with the brown color that's in here. So, grab grab an eyeshadow brush first and this is also elf most of my brushes are elf elf and eco eco tools so, so i'm gonna put our like medium shade down on um, the lid area kind of close to the crease might not be able to see it well but it's gonna be like a transition color so putting that on the lid that's gonna be the main like center of the lid color and we're gonna deepen up the crease just a little bit more to add some dimension and depth <laughs> chance I want to do a makeup tutorial with my mother because she is why I'm even interested in makeup because she dolls herself up all the time and if you hear a little giggle or a little talker in the background that is my son um, he'll be three soon um, you've seen him actually a couple times uh, on some of the other videos if you watched um, so yeah that's my little, my little boy but yeah, I mean, I like makeup. I like, you know, the enhancement part of makeup. Makeup's fun. It's, you know, who doesn't like to doll themselves up, get pretty for special occasions? It's like a fuchsia color. So, I'm going to put it down and see what it do. Put a little underneath the waterline to add a little bit more color. I love color, so... It's gonna be color, even if I do a neutral or natural kind of a look, I will always have some color in there somewhere. Because there's color in life everywhere you go, in nature, you see color every day. So, yeah. Brand new. So, I used to do these funky little just swirls, curls, designs on my eyelid just because I like doing it. Like, it was fun to me, so. And it always attracted people and they always seem to like it as I like doing it, so. I think I'm gonna throw that, you know, bring that back, so. 
Um, I mean, again, it's like a canvas, so you can do whatever, whatever you want. Um, don't be afraid. At the end of the day, you wear it with confidence. That's the main thing. Yeah. This is Mega Protein mascara from again Wet n Wild. time together and I hope you know I might have gave you some little tips today on how you can do your makeup how you can like I didn't do any highlighting and I didn't do any contouring this is my everyday makeup well not my everyday makeup but this can be an everyday makeup without having to put on those extra layers of it looks good don't get me wrong anybody who loves to do it do you boo, for sure but for me, this is what, you know, this is what I like to do. And I think I still, you know, come out with a good finished product. So thanks you guys for watching. Um, please check out the rest of my videos. Um, like, um, subscribe even. That works. And I look forward to seeing you guys again on another tutorial. Um, 